CBS News. Proposition 215 has opened a boom market in the Bay Area, putting the high into high tech, creating a whole new home delivery service. The story at 6. The Vietnam War. 20 years ago, it divided our country. Now, Channel 5 goes back to the places that define the war. Here, inside the Coochie Tunnels, you begin to understand how the war was fought. Tonight at 6 and 10 on Channel 5 Eyewitness News. Next on Eyewitness News at 6, cultures clash over live animals being sold as food. We'll have a live report on the showdown going on right now. And see how selling marijuana is becoming the Bay Area's newest growth industry. And reporter Thuy Vu will take us into the secret bunkers of the Vietnam War. The news is next. You're watching the best place for news in the best place on Earth. Now, Channel 5 Eyewitness News at 6. Channel 5 is there for a face-off over food in San Francisco's Chinatown. The issue? Whether live animals are being mistreated before they're killed and cooked. Good evening. Two cultures that help define the Bay Area are on a collision course tonight. Animal rights activists are challenging traditional Asian customs. They want to ban the sale of live animals for food. The battleground is the side alleys and back ways of San Francisco's Chinatown. Manuel Ramos joins us now with more on this story. Manny? Well, Anna, we have a, a, an ugly, a potentially ugly situation here. Behind me, the overflow, an emotional crowd at an animal control commission meeting. Most of the people here are trying to convince the commission not to ban the sale of live animals for food. A lot of police officers are standing by in case there's any trouble because this is still a very touchy issue. I don't like it, see? When we tried to videotape some live animals for sale in Chinatown, one merchant tried to push the lens into photographer Hank Shep's face. What? I don't make a picture. I'll touch my camera. You can't, you can't stop touch us. The camera. You can't, stop that. You can't stop us from taking pictures. It's, it's, we're, on a, we're, on a, we're on a public, we're on a public street here. We're on a public street here. I don't make a picture. Okay. Oh, I'm okay. sorry you don't, but it's all on a public I'm street. Sorry. We're on a public street here. Selling live animals for food has become a touchy subject. Right now. Well, it looks like a typical farmer's market where they're selling live chickens. <laughs> After two years of lobbying, animal rights activists believe they are close to getting the practice outlawed in San Francisco. The real issue for us here is animal cruelty and suffering, a lot of which is avoidable. Like turtles and frogs, look, kept out of water and with no food. Many of them have cracked and rotting shells. But there's also a health issue. Supporters of the ban say live animals may be responsible for cases of salmonella poisoning among children in the city. And it's the health issue that may lead to the end of the 150-year-old practice in Chinatown. People opposed to the ban have said before that it's not deliberate cruelty or indifference to the public safety, but just a cultural preference to get fresh food. They're not there to try to, to irk anyone. This is just what they've always known for so many years, and they're not about to change. Now, animal activists hope if they can get the ban here in San Francisco, it'll be the first step in banning the practice of selling live animals for food all over the Bay Area and the rest of the state. Reporting live in San Francisco, I'm Manuel Ramos. We'll have an update at 10. Thank you, Manny. We also have an update on the Odwalla juice story. Channel 5 has been following. Health officials have confirmed five cases of E. coli-related illnesses in Santa Clara County. They discovered the latest case just last week. The youngest victim is 17 months old, the oldest 17 years old. One child remains hospitalized in good condition. Health officials say all of the children drank Odwalla beverages. Around the Bay Area, get ready for the grand opening of a booming new business. Medicinal marijuana in just over a week since Election Day and the passage of Proposition 215. Ken Bessita shows us how the birthplace of the initiative is creating a whole new retail category. Vic Hernandez and his partners have a lot to do before they can open up their new club. There is furniture to buy, rooms to decorate, and of course goodies to offer the patrons. We've got some donations of uh, spice cake. And we have uh, Dream Fudge, which is made by an EMT, is for the medical marijuana movement. And then we have the Blonde Brownie. 
Marijuana and marijuana-based products like these will be the staple at San Francisco's newest pot club called CHAMP, which stands for Cannabis Helping Alleviate Medical Problems. It wouldn't surprise me if there were, you know, 10, 20, 30 clubs opening up. Um, and, and that's good. In fact, a number of medicinal marijuana clubs are opening up in the Bay Area. You might say business is booming, complete with advertising. And if you can't come to a club, a club can come to you. Proposition 215 was only passed a little over a week ago, and already on the Internet, there's a site set up, the Berkeley Cannabis Growers and Buyers Club, where you can order medicinal marijuana. Berkeley businessman Ted Tuck has a few legal hurdles to clear, but he expects to begin taking orders soon. It just opens up the possibilities of having access for the people who are most severely in need of it and can't get to it. Customers will be pre-screened for legitimacy, then they'll be allowed to choose the grade of pot they want. Tuck says he'll even deliver. Right now, legal challenges to Prop 215 could affect supply, but there is little doubt about the demand. In Berkeley, Ken Bastida, Channel 5, Eyewitness News. Now, the passage of Prop 215 doesn't necessarily guarantee its implementation. At least two constitutional challenges have been filed, one of them by the state attorney general's office. Anna? Police in the East Bay are still on the lookout for a blue sedan that probably has some scrapes and dents in it. Police say the driver of that car is responsible for this fatal crash on Kirker Pass Road in Concord. As Channel 5 told you last night, six vehicles were involved in that crash. A 34-year-old Antioch woman died. Police say the blue sedan sideswiped two cars as it passed them at about 5.30 last evening. One of those cars went across the center divider and hit the van head-on. We have an update tonight on a story that Channel 5 broke last week. The secret policy change at the Department of Motor Vehicles that may put old traffic violations back on your driving record. We heard it from drivers who say it isn't fair. Now we're learning it may not be legal either. Tomas Roman is in the newsroom now to bring us the latest on this Channel 5 investigation. Tomas? Anna, this sudden secretive policy change by DMV is now under investigation by the governor's office and by State Senator Quentin Kopp. In Sacramento today, we tried to discover what law allowed let alone required DMV to invoke that change that could affect so many drivers. We started right at the top. We can maintain it longer than the statute says. Channel 5 today talked to DMV Director Susan Reed in Sacramento. Director Reed said it was a law that made the DMV change how long records of serious past violations are reported. To whom? Employers, insurance companies, the public. The fact that that has occurred is a part of your record forever. When some employer asks you, have you ever had a DUI? If you have, the answer is yes. And when it was, and it was either seven years ago, 10 years ago, nine years ago. Who is now authorized to see all the records the DMV keeps? Anyone, in some cases, for a longer period of time. For example, serious DUIs used to be reported for seven years. Now, it's on your record for 10 years. And that's the big difference. If you had a DUI action, let's say a suspension but no conviction, that was reported for one year or until you took care of the issue. It will now be on your file for 10 years. What law required these changes? I don't know, I don't know which law it was, but there was a law that changed about three years ago that said instead of maintaining those records for seven years, they should be maintained for 10. Channel 5 asked Ms. Reed for the law. Her office sent this, a vehicle code statute from 1986. But it says only courts will have access for seven years. Nothing here about 10 years, nothing about the public or insurance companies. There were vendors uh, in insurance companies who were interested and who were asking us about it. When I came, they asked me about it and I said, my position is we're going to follow the law right to the letter. If the DMV was following a law, State Senator Quentin Kopp knew nothing about it until Channel 5 told him. He's on the Transportation Committee. My intent is to introduce a bill to supervene that Department of uh, Motor Vehicles policy, which is not a publicly adopted uh, regulation. Is the move by DMV and its changes legal? We still don't know. Senator Kopp's office is investigating. Will the change affect insurance rates for bad drivers? You bet. Richard Wybe is with the State Insurance Commissioner's Office. Those are the worst drivers on our streets. And frankly, I don't have a lot of sympathy for them or the insurance rates that they pay. If you drive drunk in California, you're going to pay through the nose. Now, people convicted of driving drunk aren't just being hit with hefty fines anymore. Their sentences are now longer, too. And as far as the insurance commissioner's office, 
and the DMV are concerned, DUI convictions are now something you can't outlive. They'll stick with you for the rest of your driving career. And anyone who, has, who wants to has a right to know about them. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Tomas. Anna, Joe? Thank you, Tomas. The end of an era in the Bay Area today. In just a moment, we'll show you something you may never see here again. Also ahead, reporter Tui Vu goes underground to expose a notorious remnant of the Vietnam War. We'll be right back. Closed captioning is brought to you as a public service by the makers of Advil, advanced medicine for pain. No non-prescription pain reliever has been proven more effective or longer lasting than Advil. Based on a true story. Are you excited? First day of school? She never imagined it could happen in her daughter's school. You're real special. And don't let anybody ever tell you. She was wrong. What is he telling you to make you lie to me? She is a child, Pete. You messing with my daughter? He was her teacher. She didn't realize she had a choice to say no. Gary Cole. I love her. The Nanny's Nicole Tom, Mary Kay Place. For my daughter's honor. CBS next Wednesday. This is the new TV Guide. Just open it up, and boom, you're there. Inside Millennium, it's finally here. The season's most eagerly awaited show from the X-Files maestro of mystery, Chris Carter. When you want to be there, get inside TV Guide. It's the Ross 1999 Dress Spectacular. Save up to 70%. Only $19.99. Only at Ross. Hey, Terry, how about that villager? When I got in and drove the Mercury Villager for the first time, I immediately said, this is it. I really like the dual airbags because not only am I safe, but my passenger is safe, too. And I never could have imagined that I could have afforded one of these cars. And now with a 1,000 cash back on a 96 Villager, you can afford one, too. But hurry. It's late. This offer won't last. See your Mercury dealer now. Gotta get to work. Bye. Imagine yourself in a Mercury now. There's a network that stretches from one end of California to the other. It connects over 33,000 doctors, over 3,000 pharmacies, and 370 hospitals, and joins them for one goal, to protect the health of more than a million members. It's HealthNet, one of the biggest and most highly rated healthcare companies in the state, and California's health plan. A long tour of duty came to an end for thousands of sailors this morning as the aircraft carrier Carl Vinson sailed into the bay. But with the joy of the homecoming came sadness. This will be the last time the Vinson docks in the Bay Area as its home port. And when it sails for its new port in January, the Vinson will close an era of more than 100 years of the Navy's presence in the Bay Area. I take the whole birth, so he wasn't there, but that's the next best thing to it. And hopefully it's the second one. The sailors that you're looking at have just completed a six-month tour at sea. Their new home port with the Carl Vinson will be in Bremerton, Washington. All this week, Channel 5's Thuy Vu has shown us her birthplace, Vietnam, through her eyes. Tonight, she takes us to one of the hottest tourist destinations Vietnam has to offer, if you can fit into it. The weapons of war, guerrilla style. The tour begins here with a display of booby traps the communists used during the Vietnam War. So these guys are the trap, you know, suddenly drop down. See? These scenes are especially poignant for people in the Bay Area. Berkeley, after all, was a hotbed of draft card burnings and anti-war protests, and thousands of people now living in the Bay Area served in Vietnam. You find out the entrance of the tunnel. Today, Sorry. tourists Go. flock to a landmark of that war, Go. the Coochie Tunnel. <laughs> this is where Vietcong guerrillas outfoxed U.S. forces. The opening looks too small for a human being. That was part of the strategy. 
Now, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. During the war, guerrillas practically lived inside the tunnels. A maze that stretched for more than 200 miles. Some sections stood three levels deep, with cooking, sleeping, and meeting areas. <laughs> Today, visitors can try to squeeze into the original opening. It's tiny in here. Getting out is even harder. Right Ladies and gentlemen, here's some Miss Washington. Oh. In the tunnel, she's just coming out now. Right. Yeah. Right. That is tiny. <laughs> Another section has been enlarged for the sake of tourists. From here, inside the Coochie tunnels, you begin to understand how the war was fought. Guerrillas waged surprise attacks, then disappeared here underground without a trace. I see. <laughs> Except for a few lights, the tunnels are dark and incredibly hot. To live like it is incredible. Like, I just don't know how they survived because it's hot. I've never been so hot like this before. Tonight we've got another up close report on Channel 5 taking you to the jungles of Colombia. Tonight's 48 hours correspondents got close to the very source of America's drug connection. So close, in fact, the crew found their lives in danger. See what they found tonight at 9 on Channel 5. Up next, Mayor Brown says he's not the only one at fault for insulting 49er quarterback Elvis Gerback. Hear who else he's blaming. And we'll tell you what Arnold Schwarzenegger was doing with Bay Area kids today. He was pumping them up. Meteorologist Brian Sussman here. There is a weather system pumping out in the Pacific. Changes for the weekend. Stay tuned. Next on Extra, the doctor who says he's cured forms of cancer, plus the number one Rosie O'Donnell lookalike. on you. Can you count on your health plan to provide easy access to Children's Hospital Oakland? Find out. Call 800-400-PEDS. Children's Hospital Oakland. For kids come first. Nights come alive on the hottest corner of the fabulous Las Vegas Strip, Excalibur Hotel Casino. The best value in the land, November 24th through December 24th. With this royal room package for $19.50 per person. Your $19.50 package includes two free buffets and two free entries in our $5,000 slot tournament. Phone 1-800-643-9941. Excalibur, it will take your breath away. Thank you for calling the Scudder Funds. Investor information, this is Scott Francis. How may I help you? Hi, yeah, um, my husband accepted a position with another company, and we're going to be moving, so... Um, Where are you going? Chicago. Chicago? That's a great town. Oh, I hope so. Um, the reason I'm calling is about our 401k plan. I was wondering if you could tell me what our options are. Well, there are several options. Uh, you can either roll the money into your new employer's plan, if they'll allow it, or you can make a direct transfer to an IRA. And either way, you'll avoid a 20% withholding. Well, all right. Well, I think I want to do an IRA. Well, then the next thing uh, is to figure out how you want to allocate the assets in the IRA uh, and what your time horizon is. Uh, I, I hear a child. I assume there's quite a few years to retirement. Yeah, well, he's 11 months old, and there's another one on the way. So there's quite a few. All right. In that case, then, it's a matter of sitting down and determining how you feel about risk. Uh, in other words, what kind no of... No commission, no sales pressure. Talk to us before you invest. Call 1-800-SCUDDER. The anger still hasn't died down tonight because of comments by Mayor Willie Brown about 49ers quarterback Elvis Gerback. Operators at the mayor's office say they've logged more than 500 phone calls in the last two days, most of them from people criticizing Brown. In a telephone interview from France this morning, an apologetic Willie Brown blamed reporters. He said they didn't inform him Gerback's son had been in the hospital. Channel 5's attempts to contact the mayor in France went unanswered. He's scheduled to return to San Francisco Sunday. For weeks now, Channel 5 has been reporting on traffic tie-ups blamed at least partially on Caltrans. Tonight, 
we have a success story. The demolition of the upper deck of San Francisco's Central Freeway is complete, one month ahead of schedule. Crews worked overtime to give drivers a break. Still, there is no word yet on when the lower deck will reopen. The man who once said, I'll be back, making good on his promise in the Bay Area tonight. Big screen tough guy Arnold Schwarzenegger stopped by Justin Herman Plaza tonight and thousands of his Bay Area fans were on hand to greet him. He's there to promote his latest movie, Jingle All the Way, and to celebrate the nightclub chain's fifth anniversary. That's Planet Hollywood. Other stars taking part in the fun include his co-star, Sinbad, actress Rita Wilson, and wannabe tough guy, he was in his time, Robert Conrad. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the commercials? He knocked this off yeah. my shoulder. I'll be back. Yeah, the weather get, getting tougher. Weather's getting a little tough to predict because we have some developments on tap for the weekend, and it really is in the developing stages. Let me show you the first clue that something's up. The fast forward cam. High clouds is roaring through the higher elevations above the Bay Area today. Tell you what, we'll step over to the maps outside right now, Crescent Moon and Jupiter. On our PIX page, we have some really cool astronomy news, www.kpx.com slash weather. Check it out. In the meantime, again, yeah, Weathermaker Offshore pouring a lot of clouds right into the Golden State on radar. We're even seeing a few light showers, primarily in the northwest corner of our state. Temperatures around the Bay Area today. Beginning in San Francisco in the peninsula, high temperature, San Francisco, 61.50. Pacifica, Half Moon Bay, 58 today. Redwood City made it to 63, morning low, 47 degrees. Santa Clara Valley we go, and San Jose, only 59. These readings are all well below the average. We had a little bit of a northerly breeze, bringing some cooler air into the region, plus those high clouds. 61 Oakland, 67 Concord, one of the warmer spots around the Bay Area today. Fairfield made it to 66 this afternoon. Also today, Petaluma at 62, 61 Nevada, morning low 51. Up in the high Sierra, it's been a little too warm for really decent snow making overnight. High temperature is South Lake Tahoe, by the way, 61 degrees. Bay Area, a variety of clouds passing through. Overnight low temperatures, really not that chilly, either side of 50 degrees. Tomorrow, highs in the low to mid 60s in the warmest locations and a good dose of clouds too. We'll call it partly to maybe even mostly cloudy at times. High temperatures in the 60s as I mentioned. Watch for some rain developing Saturday and right now it looks like rain likely Saturday night, Sunday. We of course will keep you posted and have more tonight at 10 o'clock. Hopefully late Saturday. Thanks Brian. <laughs> Rick Kwan joins us now with a look ahead at sports and this is an unusual story, a team within a team. That's right. How about this? A 40 year old father who plays college football and his son is a teammate. That story is coming up next. Being the best-known Bay Area broadcaster for 45 years has its rewards. But this isn't one of them. Join Al Hart, Wendy Takuda, and Wayne Walker as they roast their friend, Dave McElhatton. Tomorrow at 10 on Channel 5 Eyewitness News. A side effect is anything that is an unwanted symptom due to a drug. A patient may not equate a symptom to the fact that they're taking a new drug. They think something else is happening to them. The doctor should try to inform a patient what the possible side effects of a drug are. If they begin to have stomach upset, they ought to know that they should report it to the doctor. The blood pressure is good. Good. Patients should report any unusual symptom that uh, occurs when they're starting a new drug or even if they've been on a drug for a while. To find out more about medications and seniors, call this number and you'll be mailed the top 10 tips on using medications wisely. Living Well is a public service of Catholic Healthcare West and its doctors and hospitals throughout the Bay Area in partnership with KPIX Television. Why does the Home Depot carry so much stuff? Everybody has different tastes, different styles. I don't like this one, but I like that one. We got all kinds of stuff in the Home Depot. We have everything for everybody. Hundreds of carpets. Two by fours, we have them all over the place. Hundreds of drills. We have every style. Anything um, that your little heart desires. The Home Depot, where low prices are just the beginning. Use Milwaukee, the professional's choice in power tools. Their sanders and sawzalls are at the guaranteed low price every day at the Home Depot. Thank you.
So, you got a hot date tonight? You can say that. Gonna be driving that hot California Regal out here? What do you think? Yeah, it's dynamite. 3,800 V6, power to burn. Don't forget the leather. Leather, anti-lock brakes, remote keyless. Hot stereo. Why would anyone pay 5,000 more for a Camry? Cool price. And special marketing allowances make it possible for your California Buick dealer to pass along additional savings. Uh, where are you going? For a ride in a very hot car. Seattle's Alex Rodriguez and the Rangers' Juan Gonzalez each deserve the American League Most Valuable Player Award. Only one man won it, and he is Gonzalez. He batted 314 with 47 homers and 144 RBIs, despite missing 28 games due to injury. Gonzalez led Texas to its first ever division title. The 22-year-old Rodriguez made plays like this one and had one of the best offensive seasons ever for a shortstop. A 358 average, 36 homers, and 123 RBIs. Still, Gonzalez got the award by a narrow margin in the balloting of the baseball writers. In fact, Gonzalez got the nod by just three points. Gonzalez had one more first place vote than Rodriguez. Cleveland's Albert Bell finished third. Rodriguez's teammate, Ken Griffey, was fourth. And how's this for a cost-cutting trade? The Pirates sent veterans Carlos Garcia, Orlando Merced, and Dan Plesak to Toronto. In return, Pittsburgh gets three minor leaguers and three players to be named later. No wonder Jim Leland resigned. <laughs> Football teams often talk about being like a family. Well, for a pair of defensive linemen at Hartnell College in Salinas, it's true. They're not brothers or cousins, but father and son. At Hartnell Community College, 40-year-old Jeff Schaefer is not just a father figure on the football team. He is the father of one of its star players, 19-year-old Adam. They think he's great. He gets along with everybody. He acts like he's 18 years old, so he gets along real great. They nickname him Pops. I think it means a lot because he never got the chance to play in high school, and it's, I think it's proven, he's proven himself that he could have played. I've always been around kids. You know, as long as my boys have been in sports, I've been a coach or around them. And a lot of these kids I've seen grow up. And I guess you don't really realize how old you are until somebody asks you that question or uh, you start feeling aches and pains. The Shapers are believed to be the first father-son teammates in college football history. All right, here we go. Let's go. Short on players, Coach Gary Collinborn discovered Jeff last season. Our first day of practice, and I noticed this somewhat large gentleman standing on the sideline, 6'6", 275, and I turned to one of my assistant coaches, Mike Ory, and said, who's that? And he said, well, that's Adam Schaefer's dad, Jeff, and he wants to play ball. The rest is history. There were no rules preventing Jeff from playing as long as he enrolled in school. He's now taking night classes. So I just want to enjoy it while I'm here and enjoy being with my son while I'm here and, and be buddies. And like I think one of the greatest things last year was, was me and him both were on a tackle together. And that was just like, wow, that was awesome, man. Hi. Hartnell is now four and four this season, and the old man is one reason for its success. People like around in the, on the team and on, around town are saying, well, you know, what's a 40-year-old man doing out on the football field? But, you know, they, he proved him that he can do it. So this guy can play? Yeah, he can play. How tough is your dad? Uh, he's tough. <laughs> I won't mess with him. He may be tougher than Adam, but this is one father who's happy following in his son's footsteps. And how about this? The Shapers have sold the rights to their story to a Hollywood studio, so look for a sitcom or a movie oh, <laughs> about wow. the Shapers, father like son. But how are his grades? <laughs> oh, I, I guess he has a C average. <laughs> he's doing okay. <laughs> Good enough to play. Thanks, Good story. Rick. Thanks, Rick. Okay. Well, the Bay Area military personnel have gotten the call tonight. They're headed for Africa. We're working on that story right now, and we'll have a live report tonight at 10. Plus, can you really taste the difference between the gourmet high-priced coffees and instants? We'll have the results of the Bay Area coffee taste test tonight at 10. And you might be surprised. That's it for this edition of Eyewitness News at 6. I'm Anna Chavez. And I'm Joe Oliver. Thanks for joining us. As we go, some thoughts from a familiar face on why the Bay Area is such a special place. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that was... San Francisco is a very special place to me because 20 years ago, I did one of my first films here, which was Streets of San Francisco, and it was wonderful. That kind of got my career going, so I thank San Francisco for that, and that's why I'm back here today. This has been a presentation of Channel 5 Eyewitness News, the best place for news in the best place on Earth.